Now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to being your consumer advocate. Advocate helping you understand your buying decisions, making you more street smart here in the Tampa Bay marketplace. We'd love to help you win in any marketplace. That's our goal. Save our hotline number. We'd love to connect with you. ConsumerQB.com as well as a great resource. And download our show and listen on your time at Spotify or iTunes, YouTube. we got lots of opportunities for you to see our show and hear it uh, on your time. Uh, BRimes at KW.com. You can also submit an email right there at BRimes at KW.com. B-R-I- M-E-S at KW.com. So we've got a great lineup for you today. We're going to talk about Zillow. Zillow getting out. They're exiting the home buying business. They got in, I think, a little bit over their heads there. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Also, the Federal Reserve and what's happening in that case, uh, case with uh, Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Also, Jeanette Salden and Fabray Framework is going to be on the show. You've heard them on the program uh, talking about their business and the uh, real estate photography industry, as well as Dan Menekheim as well, going to be joining us later on the program. Pro Health Pest Control, local area business owner. And again, we urge you to please support this show, support the local area business and nonprofits by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show at ConsumerQB.com. Now, we like to feature our real estate listings live on air. Uh, we help our sellers profit more and sell faster by utilizing our innovation with radio, TV, and internet marketing. 6012 Russell Street, uh, back on the market. Uh, we have reduced the price. It's just over a million dollars now. Great opportunity to own a beautiful Mediterranean palace right here in South Tampa. Beautiful property, one block from Bayshore. So you could walk, jog the Bayshore uh, where all the bikers are at in the mornings. Great opportunity to own a beautiful property. Almost 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three bath, custom built home in Ballast Point community right here in Tampa Bay. And large bedroom suites. Great opportunity to own a uh, beautiful property right here in Tampa Bay. 722 Pruitt Drive on Madeira Beach. This is a beautiful duplex property, waterfront, 95 foot lot with a boat dock. And of course, bring your boat to this beautiful property. It's a duplex. You can live in one side, rent the other out. Great investment opportunity. You can see all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. This is God's country. All right, and let's give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Replenish IV Solutions. I actually just left visiting uh, with the nursing staff over there at Replenish IV Solutions. Uh, they're so nice. They hooked me up with a vitamin infusion drip directly into my body. So it's in a safe and effective way to restore your body's crucial systems uh, with vitamins, nutrients, enabling your body to protect you and perform at optimal conditions. Multiple Bay Area locations, and they've been a longtime friend of the program over five or six years now replenish iv solutions say hello to steven and lisa gunnan and let's go to the phone lines here we've got diane vance fairway independent mortgage back on the show and diane over the over the course of the last few months we've talked about the federal reserve and then of course now you have zillow exiting the home buying business so there's never a shortage of news in the real estate and mortgage industry there is not i'll start with zillow first and i'll go to the the feds but uh uh, so Zillow has a program called the iBuyer program where it would buy houses for cash and hopefully streamline the process, renovate them, and then sell them. However, Zillow exited that program. They're stepping out. They were selling a lot of homes at a loss. Now Zillow is looking to offload 7,000 homes worth $2.8 billion. So what they're going to do is they're going to try to sell that as a package deal to some of these uh, hedge funds and things like that. Um, they're not looking to sell the 7,000 home to individual home buyers, which I think is a shame, um, but they are looking to sell the homes to institutional investors. Yeah. Um, it's a small number of homes in general, but it's a big impact. And Zillow lost uh, $380 million, I believe. So they have a loss, so they had to do something. But what I think it does, Brandon, is it, and the customers that, I don't know, they interviewed some customers that actually did Zillow, uh, bought their homes through Zillow, they did not have a great experience. So 
um, that whole I'm going to go into the house and you know do everything and just uh, have the the home actually tell me you know I can tell the whatever Alexa or whoever whatever Google or whatever it is yeah. you know what I think I think the human aspect is needed and I think it bodes well for realtors Absolutely. and the realtors that are local and not just depending on an iBuyer program so so a big that big news so that was a yeah. big thing and I agree so. Yeah. With what you're saying, so, you know, it's it's a bad experience, especially when you get to the closing table, and and these other companies are still doing it. They're, they you get to the closing table and these unexpected fees that still add up to about <laughs> the six percent or seven percent that realtors, you know, traditionally would charge, including the title fees. So you get to the closing table, the sell is, hey, we're going to make this more convenient, we're going to save you money in terms of uh, no commissions, but then you have hidden fees at closing, you have these these issues and and things that people. Uh, you know they don't see it coming, and then and then it turns into a position where, uh, you know, you're removing the personal touch from the home buying process. The Zillow also creates a lot of confusion in the marketplace with their estimates that are almost always wrong, and they could be wrong in the high d- direction, they could be wrong in the low direction, and then not to mention the fact that they built their business on the backs of hardworking realtors charging them for marketing dollars and, and paying you know dollars. I I used to, I don't do it anymore, but. You know, a lot of agents do, and and you know, a lot of times those leads they don't want to talk to you if you're a buyer agent. They want to talk directly to the listing agent. Right, right, yeah. It's 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 a uh, yeah. It's definitely a different model, but uh, obviously, this is not something that they have done well. So the iBuyer program is they have announced they are not they are stepping out, staying out. So they're not going to be competing against the uh, local realtors it looks like here. There's still some out there. Now we'll see how they fare, but um, you know, it's it's hard especially they were buying properties as they were, you know, the 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 Fannie Mae just came out this week. I, I was reading the article because I read a lot, and Fannie Mae just came out and said that they expect double digits of appreciation in the home still next year even. So wow. so they were probably buying houses at thinking that this was going to, you know, happen to maybe wherever they bought the house. It wasn't quite that way. So, you know, not every market is double digit. So we're lucky here in Florida, but, you know, not every, you know, in the middle of Ohio where I grew up, uh, you may not have that type of appreciation. So, right. so, so it's, it's important to know who you're dealing with when you're selling your home. There is not an easy, fast, process it is i mean it's it's pretty fast when people come buy your house because most of them go like within days right but yeah. but it's you still need a professional to actually do that for you um so anyways that was big news um the other big news is the feds so yes. the fed has been buying about 120 billion dollars each month uh with of that 40 billion of mortgage bonds and 80 billion of treasury in order to inject liquidity into the market and keep long-term rates lower to promote borrowing and expansion. Yesterday the fed said that they would start reducing the amount by 15 billion in November and 15 billion in December. So while we expected the announcement that it really hasn't affected much now they they are planning on keeping interest rates low so they're not planning on increasing rates um they don't expect any rates to be increased uh, before even talking about it until the end of 2022 so so even though they're not buying as much of the mortgage backed securities what that does is that also gives them more money but it also uh so more money goes into the government right um but it also uh, you'll have other people coming in to buy those those mortgage backed securities. So, so it, it's it's all they they have a plan. Um, they're trying to make sure that the, the inflation is is not going out of control. Even though we know we've had you know we've had increases, but a lot of the increases are because of you know supply and demand. So you know we have a lot of stuck in, in people. You know a lot of items are stuck in the you know waiting to get into the port. So so I think they're 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 smart by waiting. Um, they didn't give any indication as far as when they would actually rate hike, but they don't expect anything till late in 2022, and then it might be by by a quarter, and that does not affect mortgage interest rates. That affects the commercial rates. So um, initially there was a knee jerk kind of reaction, but now it's kind of settled down. Everybody kind of expected it. 
Yeah, and if you just joined us, we're talking with Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, another local area expert contributor supporting the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we greatly appreciate all that. Call into our hotline. You can reach out to the hotline anytime. Uh, call or text. It's 813-750-0550. Just call or text that line. Uh, any questions, comments, introductions you want us to make for you, uh, reach out 813-750-0550. You can call or text that line. And also brimes at kw.com if you want to submit an email, b-r-i-m-e-s at kw.com. We'll put you directly in touch with Diane or any of our other expert contributors, you know, attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, uh, home services, all types of tech experts and self-defense experts amongst others so we can help you win in those places and we're talking with diane vance she's an expert in the finance industry and when you think about finance it's you know it kind of leads the industry the real estate industry as a whole uh, really uh, kind of dictates in terms of you know the market and we talk about gdp and, and really go gross domestic product in, in the united states is mo- majority services you know it's gross domestic services since uh, you know a lot of the politicians exported our, our manufacturing over the past few decades uh, but it really the mortgage industry plays a lot into that that, Diane. Yes, it does. And and it all goes hand in hand. But you're right, real estate is kind of whenever we are in a um, you know, in a, a down market or something, what leads us out is the real estate market. And real estate is still very strong. So that's why you don't see predictions of uh, you know, you know, I, I always laugh at some of the customers because they all think that, you know, we're gonna have this bubble or they're waiting for the houses prices to come down. They're not going to. Right. So, so, you know, don't wait. <laughs> That's right. They're definitely not going to. We've. I, I right. just had a conversation about that this morning. And, you know, with the unprecedented movement, the migration patterns, you know, you always had that migration pattern, people moving to sunny Florida, closer to the beaches, closer to, you know, maybe family or relatives down here. But you also now you have the mass mandates, the, the jab mandates, the lockdowns, uh, police officers, firemen relocating because they were trying to force them to get jabbed. And, and people are saying, hey, you know, we're tired of this, this, uh, you know, this, this t- tyranny and the, these uh, autocratic governments saying you have to do this, you have to do that. They're moving to Florida where our governor is saying, hey, you know, let's do common sense. Let's have freedom and, and let's let freedom prevail. So more and more people are moving here. So the record numbers are still low uh, as far as inventory. You got right about one month supply of inventory in all three major counties, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and you have a 90 plus percent absorption rate. So these are these are record numbers. And I don't see it going away either, Diane. No, it's it's definitely not going away. I I see. Well, I forget him how many hundred thousands of people that are moving to Florida alone. But yeah. Tampa Bay is like the number two market to. Um, I want to say for. Um, um, I don't remember. It was for job growth or it was just for moving to Tampa Bay. I don't. Mm-hmm. I read it, but um, you know we have big companies coming to. Tampa, like Nike is putting their headquarters there. Um, there's a lot of different, um, you know, there's a big uh, uh, investment. Um, uh, Wood is her name, and she just moved her headquarters from New York to St. Pete. So yeah. there's, a, there's a ton of companies that are moving to Florida. Not just that, people are moving here because they can, they can work remote. So they, they're going where they want to move. That's right. Zoom towns. We talked about in a previous show. Zoom towns are has a new name, kind of like it used to be Boom Town, but now they're calling it Zoom Town. Obviously, for the uh, connotation of use, using your home computer to be able to Skype in or Zoom in and be, have that meeting from across the state or the nation. And and Diane, that's a big part of it. Uh, I want to beat up on a hedge fund here. This is one that people don't realize as well. How the Federal Reserve? Uh, there's nothing federal about the Federal Reserve, and then they're uh, they're, they're they're playing with with the interest rates and the short term interest rates, overnight rates. But BlackRock, I want to beat up on BlackRock. This is uh, from a podcast that I listened to, and it's talking about how BlackRock is emulating the CCP, their social credit system. Uh, Listen to this and what they're doing with our dollars and where they're investing it. You'll be really surprised here. I'm going to play a quick clip here. It's a one-minute clip. Consumers Research drops this new, basically it's an attack ad, on BlackRock highlighting their deep ties, their deep relationship with the CCP. Take a look at this. I'll send it to you right now. BlackRock, the biggest American money manager. Where are they investing your money? China, pouring in billions, propping up Chinese communist leaders, putting money into surveillance companies used by the Chinese military. Even left-wing billionaire George Soros knows BlackRock is harming U.S. national security. 
CEO Larry Fink loves to tell Americans how to live, but he negotiated against America, sucking up to China. BlackRock, taking your money, betting on China. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy with you know with these hedge funds. We just talked about Zillow's buying program going away, but these hedge funds and BlackRock is the biggest. They're taking American money and they're betting on China. They're investing in China. So it's pretty sad to see that's where we're at in the state of America and this political ruling class. So it's a, it's a tough situation to be in. But locally, you know, lend, working with local companies, that's one of the keys that you can do. People ask, well, what can I do? How can I make a difference? Work with the good guys. Work with local companies here. And uh, Diane, what's the best place for people to get in touch? How can they connect with you? And, and you also have uh, this Zoom capabilities as well if people want to yes. just meet remotely. Absolutely, I do. Um, I, I I actually pay for the Zoom Pro, so we won't be cut off all the time. Uh, my my phone number is seven two seven six four seven eight one nine nine. You can text me or call me at that number, or my web my uh, website is my name dianevance dot com. Perfect. DianeVance.com. Support the local area business owners, local economy. And Diane is one of the best in the area. She's uh, worked on a lot of our deals, getting them closed faster with less paperwork, less headaches, great rates, and can shop uh, and get the best deals for you. All right, Diane, thanks so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Have All a right. Week. We're going to take a quick break here. When we come back. We've got Jeanette Salden in the house for Bray Frameworks, office manager, talk about real estate photography and other things happening around that industry. And uh, later in the program, Pro Health Pest Control, Dan Minikheim as well. And our feel good story of the day. You saw that football game where Tom Brady threw a 600 touchdown. And uh, we're going to talk about what Byron Kennedy, that's the gentleman that Mike Evans handed the ball to, uh, what he got for handing back the Tom Brady 600th <laughs> touchdown ball right here on the show. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hey, Brandon Rimes here for Cleaning Commandos here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Cleaning Commandos are hiring, and they're offering competitive wages, flexible hours, relaxed atmosphere, and a sign-on bonus. Reach out if you'd like a career with the Cleaning Commandos here in Tampa Bay. Info at CleaningCommandosLLC.com or call 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550, Cleaning Commandos, Consumer Quarterback Show. Hey, Brandon Rimes here. We are looking for real estate investors. We've got a new relationship bringing us a tremendous amount of off-market real estate investment opportunities. So text the word investor to our hotline, 813-750-0550. Off-market real estate investment opportunities. Text investor to 813-750-0550. Brandon Rimes here, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Looking for real estate investors. Send us a text. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, we're back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Team, Keller Williams Realty, helping you win in any marketplace. Giving a shout out to Chad Irrigation, Victor and his team over at Chad Irrigation. They do such a great job for all of your irrigation needs on your real estate properties. Reach out to Victor, Chad Irrigation, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, a couple of hot listings here. 100 Oakmont Lane. Actually, nope, let's hold on that one. That one just went pending. 4302 North Nebraska Avenue. Uh, great opportunity. Commercial property right here in Tampa Bay and you can see the beautiful photography compliments of Fabray Frameworks there as well and this is a 2100 plus square foot property office building located on a central location in Seminole Boulevard or I'm sorry Seminole Heights area billboard on property you've got a billboard on site so think about buying a new business uh, relocating your business rather and having a billboard with 40 to 50,000 vehicles a day passing by 4302 North Nebraska Avenue 
available for sale. Uh, we got also 4214 North Nebraska Avenue. This is a dry cleaner that's available right around the corner. Uh, 4214 North Nebraska uh, dry cleaner business. The business for sale. The real estate's for sale, and it's a great opportunity to own right here in Tampa Bay. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. All right, let's welcome in Jeanette Salden. Welcome back. Hey, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. Me. And yeah. Chief Operating Officer of uh, Fabray yeah. Frameworks. Woo-woo. Making everything <laughs> run in there. Yeah, running, the, running the show. Of course, I turned the next, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Always have. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. So what's new? You guys are expanding? We are. So uh, start of the new year, we will be filling in those small little gaps around Florida where we don't have anyone um, in place. So like Ocala, Pensacola, um, we're going to be going up to Gainesville, Tallahassee, um, and Sebring area. So yeah. these are small little pockets that you know we're not in yet. So pretty much we'll be all over Florida nice. next year, which is a huge accomplishment. You know, being, um, you know, we're in five years in business. Yeah. June will be six years. So five and a half years and we've taken over Florida, which is awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. We've got a great reputation out there. People Thank love you. working with you. And uh, you've done it with providing, you know, high quality photography, you know, affordable pricing, yeah. including the drone shots in there. Always, always. It, I right. feel like we're the ones that kind of started that as like a normalization within real estate photography here in Tampa Bay. Right. So absolutely, because yeah. it's included on every package. Every package right. doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, we also recently did go to a flat rate cost. Okay. Um. So in June this year, we did. Uh, change the cost to 200 even, but it's a flat rate. So the home could be 500 square feet or it could be 5,000 square feet. could be a commercial building. We really don't mind. It's $200 for just photos and drone photos, of course. Cool. Yeah. 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 Then you do the walkthroughs too. That can help you because a lot do. of times it's an out of state client looking to buy. And, you know, hey, if they have good photos, they're yeah. willing to make these, these offers sight unseen a lot of times. And more recently, yeah, yeah, it's definitely out of state buyers um, coming into Florida. So, video walkthroughs have become very popular. Whereas last year during the pandemic, it was Matterport was really popular. Um, but we've kind of seen a shift within the business that um, everyone's going more towards videos, you know, and they want the, um, you know, less than two minute video kind of speed ramps, modern, cool yeah. videos, cool music, modern, um, just so they can post on their social media. Yeah, absolutely. Get yeah. a quick view. People's attention span are so short anyways. Right. So might as well make it a quick, you know, two, two and a half minute video and people can see the property. And uh, you've also got, um, so you've got your growth there. Mm -hmm. And then you're also doing other types of photography too, not just real estate, right? Right. Yeah. We've always um, dabbled into headshots. Well, headshots like are, are, is our second, is our second best um op or photography, what we do. Yep. Um, so we have a, a studio in house and we also can meet you know, agents out in the field um, and do photography downtown or, you know, by Armature Works or wherever. Um, but um, not only headshots, but we do wedding weddings. We do event photography. Yep. Um, so a lot of times, you know, agents reach out and they're having a, you know, a broker's meeting or, or you know, a, a client appreciation party or whatnot. And they, yep. so they hire us for that as well. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Document things, keep, you know, keep it relevant. Cause everything you do now almost, uh, within reason is a, uh, is an opportunity to post online and be social mm -hmm. and even, you know, live, go live with some, some things. And exactly. But, the, but that, that photography can help you, you know, extend the brand and extend the reach with all the different social sites. Yeah. I mean, you look more professional, right? You, yeah. you kind of look like you have an entourage following you at right. your party, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's a good concept content for agents, um, especially because right. since, you know, agents have to put themselves out there on social media all the time, constantly marketing themselves. You know, this, when you do things like this, it's more about it's investing in yourself right. um, versus, you know, just content for social media. It's, it's more about, it's more than that. You know, if clients see you online posting constantly, they see, you know, it's not just real estate, but we also have like to have fun and network. Yeah. Um, and they get that personal life as well, then, you know, that's that's when things click with clients and 
Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Good stuff. We're going to come right back. We're going to take a quick break here. More with Jeanette on the flip side for Break Frameworks in the house, as well as our feel-good story of the day coming up as well. Find out about how much uh, Byron Kennedy is his name. He's the gentleman that had the uh, football. He won. He got handed Tom Brady 600 touchdown ball at the Buccaneers football game uh, last week or week ago. Mike Evans' jersey cleats, amongst other things that he received. Stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is Chris Voss, former FBI lead hostage negotiator and owner of the Black Swan Group. And you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rack. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Five, four, three, two, one. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And we're back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show host and owner of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. My wife, Lindsay, and I own a top 1% ranked real estate team here in Tampa Bay. Out of 25,000 realtors, we rank in the top 1%. So we'd like to feature our listings live on air to help our sellers profit more and sell faster, utilizing our innovation with radio, TV, and internet marketing. 5602 Land O Lakes Boulevard. This commercial property great opportunity think about putting an assisted living facility here or maybe a, some type of a boutique hotel just a great opportunity 5602 lando lakes boulevard this is a commercial property seven acres uh you've got it's lakefront as well uh lake helen it's zone c2 so you got general commercial water and sewer are available and it's right along the us 41 site of north Lando Lakes. Great opportunity for commercial property here in Tampa Bay. And we also have 207 East Lutz Lake Fern Road. This is a vacant land parcel. You can build on this this over acre lot, right around an acre of land at 207 East Lutz Lake Fern Road. Now this property is zoned for residential. Uh, you could potentially put multiple units on it. You'd have to get that zoning passed uh, through the, the uh, local area county and municipalities but you can build your dream home maybe a guest home as well 207 east lutes lake fern road in lutes over an acre of land zone residential and you can see all of our properties at platinum mvp team dot kw dot com
All right, give a quick shout out as well to Golf Cart Depot. Uh, Golf Cart Depot hooked us up with a beautiful Keller Williams red golf cart. We love in, in taking that out, enjoying uh, rides in the community, or uh, potentially for business use, commercial use. They can use them. They've got the Easy Go, the Star EV, the Cushman. Uh, they got pre owned and you new, and you can rent or buy. They offer financing and mobile repair. DiscoveryGolfCars.com used to be known as Golf Cart Depot. Now, DiscoveryGolfCars.com. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and uh, we talk about some national news some stuff here on the show i want to play a quick clip from our great governor desantis uh, he's actually suing now uh the uh here's a clip florida argues in its lawsuit that nasa and others who contract in florida and follow biden's vaccine mandate would be interfering with florida's employment policies and threaten the state's economy The state argues that the vaccine requirement would force the state to require certain state officials get vaccinated due to their federal contracts. DeSantis had previously called for a special session of the state legislature to ban vaccine mandates, and he's been outspoken against them. He announced the lawsuit in a press conference this week. We also cannot have the federal government coming in exceeding their power. Some of the stuff that they're doing with the with the federal con, they're really rewriting contracts and they're transforming normal contracting into basically public health policy. And that's not anything Congress has ever authorized. All yeah, right, so, so Florida a, says President Biden's mandate. Is- it's an overreach. You know, you have that traditional government overreach. We're looking for a small government, bigger the people, smaller the government, bigger the people. So great for great for our governor standing up against these jab mandates, the, you know, these different uh, overreaches by the federal government. And, you know, to have a forced requirement like that, he goes on to say how NASA, uh, you know, the police departments, things of that nature, you can't do that. You know, and you see that happening in other states. People are moving to our state because of the freedom, because of the liberties that we have. So on a national note, you know, you see what's happening. The migration patterns, people are voting with their feet. They're voting with their vehicles as they cross that Florida Georgia line uh, coming into the great state of Florida. So shout out to our great governor, uh, Ron DeSantis, for standing up against the tyranny that is happening out there. All right. So back to the local level here, local level on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we bring on our expert contributors. You know, we want you to think about this show as the hub of your financial, your business wheel, your uh, real estate wheel, all of those different levers uh, reaching out to our, one of our expert contributors. So we bring on attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, all types of great uh, business owners and business representatives uh, to uh, interview on the show and talk about different things impacting the local economy and local area businesses. So uh, we've got today, we've got Jeanette in studio, Jeanette Salden for Bray Framework. She's the chief operating officer of Fabray Frameworks. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about more about real estate. What are you seeing out there? Because some, some agents say, oh, well, the market's going so great. I'm going to take shortcuts. I'm going to use these cell phone pictures. And I still see them out there and they look horrible. Why? <laughs> Why are they doing this? <laughs> right. I mean, you're saving $200, okay, on this, com- on, on this commission check when houses right now are at an all-time high so you are you are getting more in your pocket essentially you right. know when you sell but it's the point is um you're you're investing in yourself right so when you get these real estate photography photos it's it's not about oh i don't want to invest in this home because this home is you know two hundred thousand, and i'm not going to make much it's not about that it's you're investing in yourself and your own portfolio because in the future when you do have to um you know put yourself out there you know, and you're going against other agents, yeah. what do you have to show? Yeah. You know, you're going to open up your laptop and show your, you show your clients, hey, look, look at this. You know, this is what I do for my, my clients. I go above and beyond. I make sure to get professional photography. You know, I do drone photography. You know, they can go out and do amenities for you, you know, whatever you need. And, and it, it's just a better face versus, you know, what are you going to do? Pull out your cell phone and be like, I'm just going to go around here and take photos yeah. of this house. Yeah. <laughs> So. Exactly. And then sometimes they don't even hold it properly. They hold it upright and then you get like that half cut off. It's yeah. so important to, to size it right. To hor- the, the horizontal view, right? So it like fills the entire screen in MLS. Right. The vertical view it gives you those two black lines on the side. So it does look a bit off. Um, but not only that, I have seen like timestamps on the corner of some photos. Yep. And I'm like, oh, that looks so it looks so bad. bad but i mean you're you're losing it's more more than just your portfolio as well you know when you put this house out on the market what's the first thing that everyone is going to unfortunately they go to zillow they go to realtor.com they go to all these other sites yep. to look at the homes and 
I mean, and what in the photos that you show there are just not not presentable. They're just going to bypass the home and say, oh, well, this home doesn't look the you know the best that it can look right and they're going to go to the house that has you know the bright the bright beautiful photos that show off you know the best features of the house so yeah yeah and you're, you're missing opportunities you know that 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 cliche the first opportunity the first impression yeah you're missing that and, and the technology is a big piece of that can, can you talk about how technology's changed over the last five years and then you know also that leads into like the editing of the photos mm-hmm. and, and sometimes you can even stage you can uh, stage the photos i can yeah i can virtually stage them which is pretty cool and you can save money there <laughs> instead of yeah. hiring a professional teacher <laughs> exactly call me and i'll virtually stage it but um I mean, technology is constantly changing uh five years ago when we just opened the business drone photos weren't a thing really in real estate photography now it's a must you yeah. know so i mean in a short short five years we've made that change um now we're focusing more on the windows um being able to see through the windows um instead of it being you know just completely white Mm. um or blown out or whatever um you know that's important to us right now so technology is constantly changing and we have to upgrade our equipment constantly too so so you're able to use that though you're able to 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 now take and so that was something you couldn't do pre a couple of years ago right. now you can now i can't yeah well the difference is between us and other photography companies is we don't do flash photography and that's what makes us affordable um because we we're able to go into a home and get it done within an hour because we don't have to set up lights um, oh, okay. in a house and move those around uh, whereas flash photography you have to set up lights and um it takes a, a bit longer at an appointment um, so what we do instead is we, we do HDR photography. So um, we take different exposures within yep. the camera and then merge those exposures in editing um, to get kind of like the perfect white balance. And the dark exposure exposes for the window outside. The light exposure exposes for the indoor. Okay. Put them together. Here the windows come cool. out. And then the house is still bright. I always so. wondered how that worked. That's interesting. It's it's very it takes a long time it's a lot of work right it is a lot of work putting the pictures together one house um we get we have probably on average right now is five to six hundred photos wow okay but one but divide that between divide 500 600 by seven because one photo we had to take seven photos for just one really to show all the different exposures. Right. Um, and then we merge that in editing, and then so and then we have to move it to Photoshop to get the windows perfect. So it, one house takes about two to two and a half hours to edit. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Yeah. So, so. spend the money for very frameworks <laughs> and uh, real estate photography, and then the others, like the weddings and, and mm-hmm. uh, the headshots. headshots. Those are big. That's a big part of it. Always. All right. Uh, what's the best place for people to find you? For BrayFrameworks.com, uh, you can give us a call, 813-906-8300. Text us in that number as well. Um, Facebook, I mean, anywhere, reach, you can reach us. Cool. All right, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks Good for having stuff. me. Good stuff, appreciate it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Dan Manikheim in the house, longtime friend of the program, Pro Health Pest Control, uh, plus our feel-good story about Tom Brady 600 touchdown on here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Final segment coming up. We'll be right back after the short break. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Ryan, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hey, Brandon Rimes here. We are looking for real estate investors. We've got a new relationship bringing us a tremendous amount of off-market real estate investment opportunities. So text the word investor to our hotline, 813-750-0550. Off-market real estate investment opportunities. Text investor to 813-750-0550. Brandon Rimes here, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Looking for real estate investors. Send us a text. Hey, Brandon Rimes here for Cleaning Commandos here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Cleaning Commandos are hiring, and they're offering competitive wages, flexible hours, relaxed atmosphere, and a sign-on bonus. Reach out if you'd like a career with the Cleaning Commandos here in Tampa Bay. Info at cleaningcommandosllc.com or call 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550, Cleaning Commandos, Consumer Quarterback Show. You're 
listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. And we're back. Brandon Rimes here. Consumer Quarterback Show Platinum MVP Team. Helping you win in your real estate deals, buying, selling, or investing. So we uh, watched the football games here with the Buccaneer football team. Uh, of course, the Tampa Bay Bucks. Tampa uh, Tom Brady, 600th touchdown ball. So a lot of people saw that Mike Evans caught the touchdown. He handed it to the fan that was kind of hanging over. And uh, Byron Kennedy was his name. He's actually a St. Pete doctor. And uh, he handed back the ball that was some experts say is worth around a half a million dollars. And he's quoted as saying, had I kept it, I would have held on to the ball. It wasn't going to leave my house. So I never would have had 500000 like everyone says. He said he would have kept it as a as a cool piece of memorabilia. But everybody wants to know, what did he get? What did Tom Brady give him? What did, uh, I think, Gronk threw in? So here's, along with two personalized Brady jerseys, one for him and one for his buddy who brought him to the game, Kennedy also received a signed Mike Evans jersey and cleats, a Brady signed helmet, two season tickets for the rest of this year and next season, and $1,000 towards the Bucks team store. He is also receiving tens of thousands of dollars worth of cryptocurrency, courtesy of Brady and Gronk. So he says, I got more than I wanted, and I feel like I made out like a bandit. So there's uh, the uh, final chapter to the football, the 600th football uh, at touchdown pass that is from Tom Brady. So interesting story there. Uh, hot listing for this segment. I want to let you know about a property at uh, we've got 1410 East River Cove. This is an affordable home, entry level home, uh, right in the Tampa Bay area. Here it's 1410 East River Cove. Uh, this is a smaller home, three bedroom, one bath. Uh, it's on a great corner lot, mag- majestic oaks, beautiful property right here in Tampa Bay. And you can see all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team. Dot kw.com somewhere, somewhere sunny and 75. all right we're going to the phone lines now we got dan manikheim pro health pest control hey dan hey how you doing sir good how are you awesome awesome things are good things are good yeah i can't believe it's already creeping into november here and and uh man easing towards the to the end of the year it is it is it'll be here shortly and uh Besides, you know, I have some great, I've been, we've been having great news and every fall it happens. It's not quite as great news as you getting a football or some crazy like that, but yeah, what's happening in the, yeah, you know, what a good story though. Isn't that, isn't that kind of nice to have a good one like that? Yeah. I but like we, that. we, in the, uh, in the, in the pest industry, what happens a lot during the fall is it's swarming season for ants. So we get a lot of nervous, you know, people calling us up saying, oh, they're, God, they're, there's termites all over the place because they have wings. They're not used to seeing ants with wings, and we get to go out there and give them some good news that you don't have termites, you just have ants. And that's typical for this time of year. There are there are still termites out there. Don't everybody think that it's just ant season. It's possible. But mo- most of the time when we get a uh, uh, call about somebody being a little frantic because they got termites every it's just an ant swarm so we've been bringing good news too to people yeah that's nice man good news yeah because yeah. yeah. yeah, it can be scary people are sometimes overwhelmed especially getting to the real estate transaction you know there's so many moving parts to the real estate transaction that's why i'm glad to see uh zillow exiting the home buying business and you know causing confusion with their their valuations as well but um you know, folks that that get into the home buying process, and then they have the inspections, the appraisals. Uh, what are some of the biggest things you see happen out there? Uh, you know, because there's a lot of confusion, and people, you know, they don't sell a home every day. It's it's once every five to seven years, are the national statistics. So, uh, what are you seeing out there? Some of the misnomers and problem areas. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, like it, not just from the customers, but during the real estate transaction, it is it is the thing that like people, you know, their eyes just. They do, you, you know, you just say the word termite before you finish it. There's, there's just such a fear there. Yeah. And, uh, the homes are, you know, most homes are overbuilt and they can, they can handle, and most termite damage, even though it costs, we know it costs billions and billions of years, but that's spread out of over a vast area. Most homes may have some termite damage. They may need some repair, but most homes you go, you inspect. Um, you know, they, they, you know, a lot of people are keeping up with termite prevention. They, they've learned that, you know, 
that's what we see out there. We see people panicking over some small stuff. You know, yeah. termite prevention is relatively inexpensive and it's really effective. So, you know, and the concerns about the termites, I don't, I don't, for, but, but that's what I do, right? So, of course, I'm not afraid of termites or something like that. Yeah. But, but people, people seem, I see people panicking over that. And, um, you know, and uh, what what are you seeing out there? What are you seeing? Yeah, yeah, it's a busy market. You know, I think it's it's difficult uh, for home buyers. They're they're finding frustration is what they're seeing, and, and of course, the limited supply of inventory causes multiple offers, and people to sometimes overpay and or rush into deals. That's what Ray Hall talks about. Ray Hall appraisal says, "Hey, don't overpay uh, at this time." And and then there's also the challenge of uh, people, you know, finding a home if they're moving from out of state, especially the, for record numbers. People are moving from uh, other states, other countries, even, and, and coming to the safe haven of Florida since we've got a great governor here uh, keeping our state free and fair. And and uh, you know, the, the, he's he's had a filed a suit against the mandates and you know protecting uh, not only citizens but employers and, and employees. Uh, so the, so I see it's a great stuff happening. But um, we're talking. With, by the way, if you just joined us, we're talking with Dan Minikheim here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Pro Health Pest Control, and I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes. And when we talk about termite control and pest prevention, uh, we hear, you know, I've heard a stat out there. Termites cause more damage than wind, fire, flood, hail, you name it, on a yearly basis. That's such an interesting uh, statistic. Well, yeah, well, termites never sleep. They, yeah. um, I mean, they're constantly chewing on wood. Uh, they can be un seen for years so wow. you can go you can go you know you can't no matter how good as uh, pro health is or any any experienced termite person is um they they come in through the plumbing areas they, they're in your attic spaces they're underneath the insulation stuff like that but that's why prevention is so important uh for your for your transaction and it can you know you can um I mean, you, you can have a home you think that's worth X amount of dollars and somebody comes in and finds that there's a lot of damage to it, which you could have prevented for a couple of thousand dollars. And the next thing you know, you've got, uh, you know, tens and tens of thousands worth of damage. So we do see that out there. That's not always the case. Um, we do see a lot of people that uh, that go out there and, you know, they want a second opinion. And, you know, we find out that there isn't really that much as termite damage as they describe. So, right. you know, there's always, there's, you know, you know, be careful, always, you know, go with somebody you trust on that. So, yeah, absolutely. Got to trust the provider. You got to trust the company. And that's why we set this show up. We bring on folks, business owners uh, that you can trust. These are people that are, are uh, servants. They're serving the community. They take time of their busy schedules to be interviewed on our show, the consumer quarterback show here. And one of the, one of the key things that I think folks should do is, is and here's a practical thing uh we just had uh, pro health pest control out to our home and the service tech was awesome did a great job and he, he walked around the property with me and he said hey these are some areas that you might want to as a homeowner you know because we had a build we had a new build and you know how that goes sometimes the builders they don't get every single thing that you'd like to get done and you end up kind of renegotiating at certain times but you know hey there's there's spots where that were caulking would have been really helpful so it's like hey he, he pointed it out he took the time to say brandon you might want to caulk this area and then by the way right behind your air handler see that open space that's you want to close that in uh you want to get the i forgot the name of the the spray foam type stuff you know fill in those yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead dan oh no yeah no that's uh yeah and you know and uh yeah i mean anywhere where a termite can get into um you could be exposed to some termite damage you know it's not perfect you know, so sealing your home is, uh, it's, it's, it's the first line of defense. And obviously, we're going to treat the exterior of the home, you know, if they land on the product, it will, uh, you know, they slow, you know, it'll kill them. So, but yeah, you know, keeping your home, that's perfect. Keeping your house completely sealed, that that's one of the, you know, that's the best uh, type of uh, prevention you can get for, for termites and stuff. And then having it treated and stuff, which you did. Your home's protected by termite for termites. Right. Your home's very well sealed. There's a couple areas on your home. Yeah. But that, you know. Yep. And then and then also, Dan, for our listeners out there and our viewers on our, our TV side, social side, is the maintenance plan. You guys have that, that plan that you, they can sign up for. I forgot the name of it. What Can you elaborate on that? 
Yeah, we, it, we, it's a quarterly pest control program, or it's a, uh, and that's for the pest control side. We come out there every three months, guaranteed pest control against, you know, mostly what, what are people, roaches, spiders, and ants. And, and it covers a million other bugs too. So it covers all your bugs. And then there's the termite side of it for termite prevention. So it's a quarterly pest control program. You call us up, we come out there, we'll do a free inspection on your home. You know, to point out some areas where maybe able to caulk or nothing, but you don't have to caulk. We'll certainly uh, guarantee our program whether your home is sealed up or not. And, uh, you know, come out and we'll give you a bid. It usually runs about uh, $31 a month. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Keep the, keep the, the bugs away. Keep your house, um, you know. In, in a position where it's not going to uh, have deferred maintenance at some point. And if you do get in that real estate transaction, you're going to fly through the transaction easy. Yeah. And you know, and our, and our technicians are, are, are trained to be more than just about the bugs. You know, you don't want to let wood rot go. We'll point that out to you. You know, where your eyes are on your home where, of things you may not see. Yep. That's awesome. All right. That's about our time, my friend. What's the best site where, or where can people find you? How would you like to engage? ProHealthPestControl.com. All right. ProHealthPestControl.com. Dan Minikheim. Thanks so much, Dan. Appreciate you, man. Okay. Take care. Thanks for calling in. Awesome. All right. Hey, another great show. I uh, want to thank all of our listeners, our viewers out there. Uh, and I want to play a quick clip here. I got a quick clip on uh, from Bill Maher. If you watched that show before, uh, here, I'm going to squeeze this clip in here before the end of the show. His, his, here's his comments on all that stuff that was happening in the school boards and the schools. That's what critical race theory means. If it means separating five-year-olds by race and telling some you're oppressors and the others you're the oppressed and giving up on a colorblind society and resegregation and racism is the essence of America, then I'm out. Right. Then I'm out. And a lot of voters said they're out this past week in Virginia and other states and other local area races. So, yeah, the CRT was just such an evil uh, design and it's uh, born out of critical theory that's happened you know in the law a lot of the law professions from what i've found by studying it but hey uh, another great show i want to thank all of our expert contributors our listeners our viewers out there please follow us online we'd love to connect with you at brandon rhymes one on instagram and twitter uh, spotify itunes podcast you can download the consumer quarterback show podcast there b rhymes at kw.com if you'd like to email me directly and please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness this is the holiday season so be kind to one another be a force for good in the community We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.